Hello! This video is going to demonstrate the different types of questions you can have when you're creating a Google Form. I've created a sample Google Form here which has one of every type of question you can add. When you want to add a question, over here on the right hand side you have this little plus which you can click to add a question. When you add a question you have lots of different types. Short answer, paragraph, multiple choice, check boxes, a drop down, a linear scale, a multiple choice grid, the date, or the time. If you take your cursor over here, you can also add a title and description, an image, a video, or a new section, which is like a new page. If you've created multiple questions and you need to move them, you can hover your cursor over this icon right here, the six little dots. If you click and hold, you can drag that question into a different order. You can change the type of question at any point by just clicking the little drop down box here. And then down here you have some additional options. If you'd like to copy a question, you can hit the duplicate button. You can delete a question. If you toggle the required switch on, then it will require the person to answer that question before they submit the form. And if you click on these three little dots, it might give you some other uh, options as well, depending upon the type of question. You could add a description to that question uh, to give a little bit more specificity on what you want to do. Uh, you could also do data validation as well. So here's a brief overview of some of the different types of questions. Here's a short answer. Uh, and actually to do this, I'm just going to go into the preview of the form. So here you can see this first one I made has a little asterisk uh, by it. I never really gave it a question, but anything that's required will have an asterisk. What's your name? Gives you just a, a short, here's a short answer. It just gives you a little bit to type. Uh, here's a long answer. If you type a lot of text, it will, uh, it will return and you'll, you'll have basically a paragraph box that you can type into. Here this has a multiple choice. A multiple choice, it, it gives you those different choices, but you can only pick one. Uh, whereas the check boxes, the difference between those and multiple choice is you could pick multiple if you're doing check boxes. It also has a drop down box. Here's the drop down box option. You can click and select one. Here's the linear scale. You can click to uh, use a linear, linear scale. Here's the option for a multiple choice grid. Uh, so with the multiple choice grid, you can add, you can customize what you have in the different columns and what you have in the different rows. And you can do different validation as well to specify how many different things they can select. You can have questions uh, where people have to enter the date or the time. Here I've added in a section, so it basically creates a new page. Uh, so going back to this form, this is what it would look like. There's just a, a new section. You could use this feature to make your form jump around a bit. Uh, perhaps if they answer their first question, are you a teacher or a paraprofessional or administrator, it might hop to then a different section in the survey. Or if they answer a certain question, uh, if they answer a question a certain way, it might just submit the form for them. So going back into the preview, preview here I'll hit next to move on to the next page. Here's a section title I've added. You can see it looks a little bit different. It has that bar across. You can add pictures and you can even embed videos into a form as well. So that's an overview of the different types of questions you can have in Google Forms. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let us know. Thanks and have a great day.